सर आगे बढ़ाइए सर थैंक यू सर सर आई लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू टू गिव मी टाइम टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग सर What did I have to do with all this, sir? Now I'm losing my time here. He just, he just started. I just started. I'll just take just an additional minute. So whichever way, sir, AP AP was bifurcated ten years back, and then in these ten years, it was the responsibility of the central government to finish all the uh, assurances that were mentioned in the act. But even today, we see that we are just with the same speech that we were asking from day one itself, and many of the issues are still unfulfilled, sir. I'd just like to mention them once again and put it in the notice of the central government, especially special status, sir. This we have been constantly demanding, and it was assured to the state of Andhra Pradesh for 10 years. And then there are these institutions, central institutions, institutions of ed education excellence that we have all, uh, the, during the tenure of TDP, we have granted them the land, we have granted them whatever it is necessary to start uh, temporary campuses, but the money has not still come in so that they can, be, uh, they can build their permanent campuses, sir. And especially for the backward district funds, and during the time of TDP, we have uh, demanded the central government strongly and we were able to get 1,050 crores. But since then, in the new government, uh, state government of uh, YSRCP, not a single penny has come from the central government, sir. Railway zone, during TDP, we have pressurized the uh, central government to announce a new uh, uh, zone for the state of Andhra Pradesh. But in these four years, after the change in government, nothing has happened, not a single building has been constructed to, uh, uh, start the organize, uh, to start the uh, commercial uh, 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 beginnings of the railway zone, sir. And then there is the steel plant issue. And uh, before, uh, when uh, there was a similar indication of getting it privatized, we have spoken to the Prime Minister, uh, the then Prime Minister, Atal Bihari Vajpayee ji, and we have ensured that there is a loan uh, distribution, redistribution, and then we have stopped it from being privatized. But now that steel plant is also being privatized, which is, we, uh, which is being opposed by the whole state of Andhra Pradesh, sir, that also we want to uh, uh, put it in the notice of the central government. And then there is the uh, construction of Polavaram Dam. During the time of TDP, we have ensured, we have taken the responsibility of constructing and getting reimbursement from the central government as it is a national project, and we have completed 70% of construction of the dam, sir. And after coming of the YCP government in the state, they have uh, totally stalled the uh, uh, construction of the uh, dam, and there is uh, not a single percentage of uh, construction that has moved ahead. And in fact, uh, the revised estimate is today costing up to 55,000 crores, sir. Not a single mention about this, even if we are in the final year of uh, fulfillment of the act, sir. And then these kind of issues which have been long pending for the state of Andhra Pradesh, it is the uh, uh, responsibility of the central government to make sure that uh, all these are fulfilled and rightfully done so that the uh, AP can uh, progress in the right direction, sir. And moreover, on top of this, uh, I'd like to mention some of the issues that are going in the state of Andhra Pradesh, sir. especially the erosion of democracy that is happening uh, over the last three and a half years under the rule of uh, YSRCP government in the state. Uh, there is the geo number one, which has been recently uh, brought in in the state government, which curbs the freedom of expression, especially of the opposition party, sir, who are trying to stand by the truth in the state, who are trying to stand by the people. And this has been, in fact, uh, brought at a time when our leader, Nara Lokesh, is doing a padhyatra across the state going around the state trying to meet people, trying to voice out their op uh, opinions. And this is against the constitutional right that everyone has, sir. We have the freedom of speech. We have the right to speak about the uh, opinions, uh, especially when you're in the uh, opposition. This has to be there, sir. And that, regarding that, uh, geo number one has been brought in. And then, on top of that, geo number, geo number 2430. Sir, anyway, they don't let us speak in the state now. They won't let us speak here also. We don't have the right to speak here. Geo number 2430. This was bought in three years back where they have, where they are trying to put cases on the media also if they, if they do any reports against the state government. The, it is the right of the uh, uh, media to mention the truth to the people. Now, for that also, they brought a geo saying that you can't do all these uh, uh, articles against the state government. And then on top of that, sir, On top of that, if you see the, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you some incidents, sir, which will explain the functioning of the state government right now. A doctor was asking, uh, the uh, questioning the government regarding the uh, insufficient supply of masks, shortage of masks during COVID time. 
then he was suspended immediately and mentally tortured, which was ultimately led to his death. And then there was this another Dalit youth who questioned the uh, government against the sand mafia that is happening in the state. His head was tonsured in the uh, uh, police station, sir. In front of the police, his head was tonsured. He was humiliated, and which also led to, uh, led to his death. And then there was a 73-year-old senior journalist who forwarded some news article to certain uh, groups in his phone. Then he, CID has put a case on him. And then there is another 67-year-old lady who has questioned the functioning of the government. He, she just questioned. She just posed, uh, posed some questions to the state government, sir. And then she also was booked under uh, some case in the CD, CID. So these are some of the incidents that are happening against the Constitution. These are all mockery on the democracy, sir, and uh, which is why we want to put it in the notice of the central government to take care of these issues, sir. And on top of this, if you want to see the functioning of the state government, employees and their uh, attitude is the best way to find out, sir. Now, regarding the employees in the state of Andhra Pradesh, teachers who are to be respected, who we compare in our culture as equivalent to gods. Now, these teachers have come on the road protesting against the same government. They have complained that teachers who are employees of the state government. <laughs> so, the, uh, uh, I was talking about the teachers' protests in the state of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Sir. The teachers are protesting against the PRC, which usually employees welcome when the state government brings in the PRC, but it has come to a stage where the teachers are protesting against it. They have went to the uh, governor of the state also to complain against the state government. That is the uh, status of the issue right now, sir. And also on top of that, there are... Uh, uh, there, are, there are allegations on the state government withdrawing GPF uh, funds also, sir, from at least 90,000 employees without their consent also. And the uh, state has not cleared four pending DAs. So the employees are facing such an issue that even the salaries are not being uh, paid on time. So this is an indication on how the state is moving into a failed state. And it is high time the central government takes notice of this also, sir. And uh, other than this, there are many schemes from the central government which are happening in the state. One of them is the Jaljeevan mission, which the central government is taken as a priority. Even that is not moving forward. Two minutes, I'll conclude, sir. I'll almost conclude. Jaljeevan mission, sir, almost 1,098 crores, which is supposed to be the share of the state government, is not being put forward. And then there are a uh, lot of projects from the Ministry of Railways. And the railways uh, minister only uh, in this very house has replied to a question saying that 70,000 crores uh, worth of uh, money is pending from the state share so that they can complete the projects. And 9,000 crores of finance commission funds coming from the central government are being misused and not being sent to the panchayat, sir, so that they can uh, take care of their panchayat needs. And so many issues of uh, uh, misuse and diversion of funds are happening from the uh, central government that are coming to the state. So this also we want to put it in the notice of the central government so that uh, they can take care of it. And other than this, sir, the present financial situation of the state of Andhra Pradesh, we are in dire crisis, sir. We are moving into a state we have seen example of countries also like Sri Lanka, what has happened if the finances are not being uh, uh, disciplined, uh, disciplinedly uh, maintained. And uh, right now, AP has come to a state where they are taking uh, loans to pay the interest on loans which are already there. That is the situation of Andhra Pradesh, sir. And the RBI has also analyzed that uh, it is one of the top 10 indebted states in the country. And the government is borrowing neither for infrastructure creation or revenue generation or for the welfare, but it's paying, uh, taking loans to pay off uh, past loans, sir. And also, sir, last point. And uh, this coupled with the uh, disastrous governance structure in the state, which is already highlighted, sir, it's leading to incomparable pain for the people of Andhra Pradesh. I urge the union government to intervene immediately before thank it's you. too late. And I thank you for giving me the opportunity thank to speak you, in this. Thank sir. you. Thank you. E.T. Mohammed Bashir. Sir, thank you very much, sir.